Hey guys and welcome to Knowledge Base. Today I'm going to show you how you can encrypt messages with GPG for Win and Cleopatra. So this may be a bit confusing if you've never done it before but I'm going to try my best to break it down and to explain everything and cover all the questions that you might have. So the first thing we're going to need to do is you're going to need to download Cleopatra from the internet. I'll go and leave a link in the description, click on that and install Cleopatra. Once you've got it installed and you've run it for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a new key pair. Now a key pair is basically, we're going to need a key pair to encrypt and decrypt messages. So click new key pair and enter in your details. These don't have to be real, you can put whatever you want into here. So I'm going to enter in Bradley and then click next and then create the new key pair. Now you're going to need to enter in a passphrase. Make sure you remember the passphrase and enter it in. Then you can click OK and then wait until it's created. So now we've got our key pair created as you can see here in Cleopatra. Now you don't need to worry about too much what a key pair is, but what you do need to do is make sure you have a backup of your key pair. If Cleopatra uninstalls or your computer gets lost or damaged, if you have a backup, you can basically import it to a new version of Cleopatra and restore where you left off basically. So make sure you have a backup, choose an output file. I'm going to put it in my documents and call it Keeper. Then enter in your passphrase. And now we've got a backup of the key pair. Now we can click finish. So now we've got a backup of the key pair and we can click finish. And here we are in Cleopatra. So now we're in Cleopatra and this is where some people get confused. So everyone that sends and encrypts messages will have a PGP key. Just to show you a, an example of what one is. Uh, you want to right click on your name and he can export your own PGP key. I'm going to export it to the desktop and I'll just call it PGP. So here's the PGP key, you want to right click and open it with notepad. So here is my public key and this is what an example of a PGP key looks like. So what you need to do is you need to find the person's PGP key that you're trying to send an encrypted message for. I've got an example up here on notepad, this is the recipient's public key. So a PGP key looks like this and they're all pretty much the same and you'll know it's a PGP key because it says begin PGP public key block. Now you will find their PGP key, they will give you that through messenger, email or whether it's on a social media profile or whatever. And you want to copy it from start to finish, a PGP key starts from the first dash and, end, and ends at the last dash. You want to copy it and then click copy. Now head into Cleopatra and you want to click on tools, clipboard and certificate import. Certify the certificate by clicking on these boxes and then click next and then certify. Now enter in your passphrase again and then click finish. Now what you will see is another PGP key has appeared in Cleopatra. So now we've got their PGP key, we can now write the message that we want to encrypt to them. So enter up a blank notepad and you can start to write the message. So here's an example message, the door code is 921312. So write out whatever message you want and then you want to right click and copy it to your clipboard. Once you've got it copied to the clipboard, go to tools, clipboard and then encrypt and then add recipient. And then here you can choose the PGP key that you've just imported. Click OK and then click Next and it should say encryption succeeded. If you click OK you're going to have an encrypted message copied to your clipboard. So if we open up notepad here and paste it in, as you can see it now says begin PGP message instead of public key. So now you've got an encrypted message and the only person that can decrypt the message is this person here that you've just uh, encrypted it to. So now what you would do is you would send that message here to the recipient, whether that be through email, Facebook Messenger, an online chat box or however. All you will need to do is make sure you send this message and then they'll be able to decrypt the message on their end using their Cleopatra software. So I hope that helps you out, I hope that helps you to send an encrypted message with Cleopatra and GPG4Win. 
If it did, please make sure you leave a like. If you've got any comments or you're struggling with anything, put them in the comment section below and I'll try and jump in and help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.